For almost 40 years, the United States and this Commission have worked with our transatlantic allies and partners to uphold the principles of the Helsinki Final Act. Russia's actions in Ukraine are an affront to those fundamental principles. Its occupation of Crimea, rubber stamped by an illegitimate referendum conducted at the barrel of a gun, have tarnished its credibility and diminished its international standing in the eyes of Ukrainians and in the eyes of the world. Reports of human rights abuses in Crimea since the Russian occupation have also shocked the conscience. Russia has also attempted to intimidate Ukrainians by amassing more than 40,000 troops and quick strike aircraft along its borders and with trade blockades and gas price hikes, as mentioned by some of you. This week's violent occupation of government buildings in Kharkiv, in Donetsk, and in Luhansk deepen our concern. Far from a spontaneous set of events, as Secretary Kerry said yesterday before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, these incidents bear all the harm hallmarks of an orchestrated campaign of incitement, separatism, and sabotage of the Ukrainian state, aided and abetted by the Russian security services. Today, Ukraine is a frontline state in the struggle for freedom and all the principles that this commission holds dear. The United States stands with Ukraine in its effort to forge its own path forward to a more free, peaceful, and unified future. Our approach includes four pillars with which you're very familiar. First, our bilateral and multilateral support for Ukraine and its democratic future. Second, the costs we're imposing on Russia for its aggressive actions. Third, our efforts to de-escalate the crisis diplomatically, if at all possible. And fourth, our unwavering commitment to the security of our NATO allies. 